Sing and Cook. My name is Chef Arpal and I'm back here cooking some great basic recipes of Indian food. What I'm going to show you today is how to make paneer because this is one question which I'm asked every time whether it is on YouTube or when I meet people. So I thought for everyone who don't get fresh paneer or good paneer, they should know how to make good paneer at home. So first, got a pot here on fire and this is 3 liters of full fat cream milk and generally what you use here oh does this happen with you it happens with me every time I cook so cleaning very important so what you do is 3 liters of milk here now this is full fat milk but however if you want great quality paneer you need to add to every liter 100 ml of cream whole cream cooking cream is what you'll add so 3 liters means 300 ml of cream is what I am adding to this now this measurement is the most important measurement generally what happens is if you take great quality milk that is full fat cream milk and to which you have added cream then you get good quality paneer but however there is a trick which you need to use at home of course industrially they measure the temperature which is around 85 degree when separation happens but at home I tell you it's little tricky because you would not have a thermometer which will measure the temperature so I'll give you some quick tips how to make good quality paneer at home let it come to a boil while the milk is boiling what you need to do is make some arrangements for the paneer so the arrangement is I've got a cheesecloth as we call in India mal mal ka kapda so this cheesecloth is what I've taken and I've put it in a vessel you can tie it up to you know the taps that generally we do and then you can pour uh, the curdled milk onto this or you can take a bigger vessel and arrange the cheesecloth like this and then pour the curdled milk so this is arrangement number one so you need to have this prepared whenever you are using cheesecloth the most important thing to remember is that the cheesecloth needs to be wet so that it doesn't run away here and there very important so this arrangement is done here and there is one more arrangement that I have done either you have the ice cubes that are ready with you or you have a bowl full of cold water because when you curdle the milk you need to immediately add some ice to the curdled milk so that the protein stops coagulating and does not become tough so arrangement number one here the milk is almost boiling and there is arrangement number two in my refrigerator a bowl full of cold water bowl ready the milk is almost now ready as I see wow it's almost coming to a boil show you some more arrangements beyond this there's also arrangement like a perforated tray that I've got and I've kept it on a bowl so that when I curdle this milk take it out in the muslin cloth add some cold water or some ice cube and then place it on this and put some weight on it so that the protein actually holds on tight and that's what paneer will be all about I've got vinegar here 3 liters of milk 300 ml of cream and roughly around 120 ml of vinegar which I've got now vinegar has various strengths so I would always suggest that you keep some more handy if you see the milk not curdling then you can add little more so here the milk has almost come to a boil now and as I see it's slowly moving up here in the vessel hot enough but I'll wait for the milk to come to a boil now you see the milk is boiling put the flame off and put the vinegar in this and I slowly move my spoon all around there now you see the milk curdling here the entire milk has curdled quickly some ice whatever I've got into this 
and I've got a bowl of cold water also. Stir this up. Just to bring the temperature down, you need to take extra care. Keep children away when you're doing this. Very important. There you see the edges. There. There you see is the curdled paneer now. Now, I tell you, what you need to do is slowly rotating cloth so that maximum water is what you take it out and you get a solid block of paneer. What I do is now turn it around and the next step, put weight on this here. So now what you see is the paneer will form into a hard lump and depending on the weight, what's going to happen is the softness of the paneer will be decided. Now, the general thumb rule that I've learned from people is for one liter of milk, when you separate, you require one kg of weight, which is roughly around, roughly around two point some odd pounds that you require on the paneer. So, this is a household method that I'm using because I know you will do it in your home. So, I've used a vessel, put some water and put some more solid things in it so that it presses down evenly and presses down well but this will get set only in about two hours so leave it like this for two hours and then take it out i must tell you about this water which is way generally people throw it away but in places like west bengal what they do is they keep this water fermented okay and they use it for making desserts like for example rasgulla so they use this water for separation of paneer the next day because this is something which is very valuable if you feel like using it you can always use it you can drink it it's healthy it's not bad and this paneer will take about two hours to set now now after about two hours let me show you how the paneer looks like here is the weight there you see a nice slab of paneer that is what you get wow look at this superb superb piece and i need to taste it also look at this nice perforation which means the pressure was not much on this curdled milk and it is nice and soft wow nice and creamy paneer now, to store it, very important, you cannot keep it exposed to air like this. If you keep it exposed to air like this, the top will become dry. To store it, you need to take a bowl of water and submerge this entire slab in that bowl of water and then refrigerate it. Whenever you want to use paneer, please do not fry it. Moment you fry it, this is full fat and protein moment you fry it it further shrinks coagulates becomes a little more tough very important please do not fry it and also storing store it in water submerged in water then you can use it use it as you feel like steam it and just eat it enjoy it fantastic <music>